Hi, my name is Samantha and in this video I'll be demonstrating the disassembly and reassembly of the breathing block for the Atlan A350. To begin, check that all your accessories are removed from the breathing block, including your soda line. Then remove the breathing system cover. This is done by lifting it up. Following that, unlock the green coloured levers. This will allow you to remove the breathing block from the system. At this point, you should also remove the piston diaphragm from the ventilator. Now for the disassembly of the breathing block. Ensure that you have the cleaning plate for the click adapter available as well. To begin, we'll be removing the click adapter from the underside of the breathing block. Ensure a firm grip on the breathing block and on the click adapter with both hands. Then an anti-clockwise turn to remove the click adapter. At this point, it is good practice to put the cleaning plate in at this point. This is done by pressing the grey button to open up the click adapter and aligning the straight sides of the plate with the straight sides here and sliding the plate in. Then closing the adapter and popping that to the side. You can then remove the APL valve by unscrewing the bottom component of the valve. Following that, the inspiratory and expiratory ports can be unscrewed from the block. Your flow sensors can now be removed. The inspiratory one by sliding out of the port and the expiratory flow sensor by being removed from the middle of the breathing block. Your flow sensors should either be disposed of or disinfected by immersion. Please refer to the instructions for use for further information. The cover of the breathing block can be removed by opening up the three grey levers and lifting off. Now the inspiratory and expiratory valves can be removed. Ensure that you avoid holding onto the plastic disc. A forward and backwards rocking motion will help you remove the valves. From here, the oxygen sensor cap can be unscrewed and placed into the holder that is seen here. For the devices that have an oxygen sensor, this is when you'd remove the oxygen sensor. Now on the underside of the breathing block, you'll find the decoupling valve that is black in colour. To remove this valve, a slight anti-clockwise turn and then pulling it out. Your breathing block is now ready for cleaning. Now to reassemble the breathing block. Begin by returning the oxygen sensor cap to its original position, taking it out of the holder and screwing it back in. All for the devices that have the oxygen sensor cap, replacing that at this point. Then returning the expiratory and inspiratory valves to their original position. The inspiratory valve is colour coded to help locate its position. You'll find two notches on the inspiratory valve at roughly 10 and 2. This should align with the notches seen here. And then pushing it into place. With the expiratory valve, you'll notice that the notches are at 12 and 6. This will align with the notches in this position here. By turning the breathing block around to the underside, 
you can then return the decoupling black valve to its position. Once again, aligning the notches of the valve to the notches here. Pushing down and remember a slight clockwise turn to lock it into position. Now to return the cover to the breathing system. Align the cover up to its base. Ensure the grey levers remain open to allow you to attach the cover and then close the levers. At this point you should inspect that the breathing system cover is fitted correctly and there are no gaps. Following that, your clean flow sensors can be reinserted. The inspiratory one by sliding it in at the top and the expiratory one goes in in the middle, ensuring that the middle of the flow sensor is pointing downwards into the notch. Then the inspiratory port at the top end and the expiratory port in the bottom one. Remembering there is a notch at the base of the port that aligns with the um, gap in the side of the breathing system. Ensuring it is finger tight. Then the APL valve can be placed on the top of the cover. With one hand, Aim the dot to the front of the breathing system and with the second hand, correctly threading the base of the APL valve. Once again, just so it's finger tight. Then take your click adapter, but remembering to remove the cleaning plate that was inserted for cleaning. Sliding that out, clicking it shut. And the trick is to start off centre to land the grey button below the dots on the APL. To return the breathing system back to the vice, start by returning the piston diaphragm to the ventilator. Just ensure that the Draeger logo seen here is on the inside of the diaphragm. This may have been turned inside out during the cleaning process. Then, by placing your fingers on the finger grip of the breathing system, place the breathing block back into the device. Then use the green levers to lock it into position. Then return the breathing system cover. By angling it on the inside and shutting it. For more information, please refer to the instructions for use or contact your local Draeger representative.